Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cheryl Technology Channel. My name is Chris, as y'all know. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing something that I struggled with for many, many years to do, and it, or to, to comprehend, rather. So for me, it was, okay, as y'all can see, I am running Pop! OS. Uh, I have been, this is the Cosmic 2404, shout out to System76. We love y'all very much. And my shirts didn't fit, so I needed an extra large, apparently. Apparently, I'm, I'm getting a little hefty, apparently. So that's what I, I'm going to have to order me some shirts now. Now, I wanted to take a minute to, to kind of, I don't really understand all of the ins and outs of, of Linux yet. I have, I've been working on this now for, for maybe a little over a week. I've been in, in Linux full time working on it every day and I use it every day. Cosmic Desktop, I'm new to. That's just been since yesterday. I decided I'm going to switch over to it. So basically what I did was I downloaded a file that was a .deb package and I'm like, okay, so what do I do with this now? So there, there's kind of two ways you can deal with this. The first way is a program called gdeb, right here. gdeb will allow you to install a package you just go over to the file, open, and you can open the file right here. And we're going to be dealing with this file in just a minute. Now, this file is for the Raspberry Pi Imager. Now, this coincides with a video I'm working on to finish up the series I have on ThinLink. Now, shout out to them. Shout out to the marketing director for reaching out to me. You are awesome. I love your software. It's incredible. Very well. I'm not sponsored by them. But I do like their software a lot. I would, if I had more than 10 users, I would pay for it because it's that good. That's one way you can open a dev file. Now, dev files are like, I believe, I could, I try to try to relate them to an ISO file. They contain everything you need to install the file, to install the, uh, the program. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to learn how to do that. Now, that's the first G dev is the first way that you can do that. I saw this on a post from a user on Reddit, and this is what he said that he likes to use, and I can see why it's easy. The other way to do this is this. So you can do sudo. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I downloaded it, and just to show you this, I'm going to, yeah, I'm in tiling mode. Yes, I know. So let's go to, okay, so if you see right here, we have this imager underscore 1.8.5 underscore am64.deb. This came directly from Raspberry Pi's website, and that's the one we're going to be dealing with today. Now, this stuff is very easy, y'all. I overcomplicated this. I overcomplicate everything. This, though, I overcomplicated it way more than it needed to be. There is a simple command that you run that will allow you to install a dev package, and it is very easy. Now, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate to the downloads folder. So we do that by typing cd forward slash home forward slash Chris or Chris. You can go all over case here forward slash downloads. Now, if we do ls, you'll notice now ls stands for list. I mean, I, I see it as list. That's how I remember it. And as you can see right here, we have that file now. And you can see it's got the video file, too. Now, you notice how they're all color coded. Yeah, I don't know what that means yet, but we're gonna, I'm going to get into that. I am learning Linux from nothing. I mean, I know a few things. I know a few commands, but I'm really diving in now. I, I went away from Windows over a week ago, and I ain't never looking back. Windows can kiss my butt. See my last video. Now that we see the file, then you're like, okay, well, how do we get to it? Well, that's a pretty good, that's an easy thing to do. So now that we're navigated to the downloads folder, we are going to type a command called sudo dpkg for for package deb package dash i and then the name of this file so we can just copy this just like this and then paste it and then hit enter and then we'll ask for our password and what this will do it installed the file very very simple, y'all. Very simple. There are There is another way to get to this file, though. So what we can do is we can do this right here. So CD will take you all the way back to the home folder. And then you can do LS right here. See? There's all your files and stuff. Cool, huh? So, I mean, Linux is not that difficult. It's just learning 
it's a little bit different format than Windows, and I actually like it a lot better. I believe printers work better. I believe a lot of things work better. I, I just like Linux better. It's just a better operating system. Kernel, excuse me. Now, the other way that you can do this is if you open up this file folder and you go to the downloads folder, you can say right here and you can say, I believe you can open, there used to be a way that you could open it in the terminal, but I'm not sure why that option, it, probably because it's a dev file and not an actual, so let's see if we can open this one. Okay, y'all, come on now. Oh, see, so it's got to be a folder or a file before you can open it in the terminal. Now, that was a quick tutorial on how to install a dev file. If you go online and you look at these forums like Reddit, you will be there for hours, hours and hours and hours. My advice to you is find a Reddit post. That's why I'm making a video on this. I looked at like 20 different things, and they all said something different. But then I found one that said, you just use sudo dpackage-i and then the name of the dev package. I'm like, well, that's easy enough. Why, why didn't nobody else say that? Do that, and you'll be just fine. Everybody, you know what time it is. If you don't know Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, I pray that you would reach out to me at sherltechnology at gmail.com or in the comments. Reach out to me. And I will be more than glad to talk to you, debate, pray, or just listen to you if that's what you need. Because everybody at some point needs somebody to listen to them. We just do. We're human, y'all. And until my next video, everybody, I thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, peace.